As RV lovers, we're always looking for the next road trip and exploring the places we find along the way. So when we discovered Virginia's slogan is Virginia is for lovers and that they have more than 150 love works around the state, we knew it was our kind of place. Our road trip takes us from raceways to scenic roads, campgrounds, national parks, state parks, wineries, and some of the best drives in the country. Stay tuned. Our road trip covers northern and central Virginia and the Shenandoah Valley and starts here in Richmond. We found love at the Richmond Raceway. RV love. <laughs> there are over 150 of these love works all around the state of Virginia and there is a Google map where you can find all of the locations. You'll find a link to that map, our itinerary and links to all of the places that we visited at the related blog post. We'll put the link down in the description. Turn right onto Virginia 30 East. Did you find love, did you, huh? Good. <laughs> found love at the Meadow Pavilion, home of Secretariat. Next, it was onto our campground. We found a great county park called Lake Fairfax Park in Reston, Virginia. It's conveniently located about 45 minutes from Washington, D.C., near the subway and an easy drive to Washington, D.C. wine trail. It has spacious sites and even has a water park. 2019 is the 50 year anniversary of the Virginia is for lovers slogan. So Virginia Tourism helped us put together an itinerary that we and you would love, RV style. We, we found, found love in Leesburg, Virginia. Virginia. And this one's made out of recycled bike parts. How cool is that? Across the road from the Leesburg Love Works, you'll find the W and O D Trail. Built on the roadbed of the former Washington and Old Dominion Railroad, it's a fantastic 45 mile paved trail for walking, running and bicycling. After burning off some calories, we refueled at Melt, a diner-style burger place renowned for their burgers and their love for animals. Their walls are plastered with photos of furry friends up for adoption, and we love that they donate their tip jar to a local animal rescue. After a quick drive through downtown historic Leesburg, it was off to Purcellville and a visit to a winery on the DC wine trail. Here in Percival, we came down to get our photo taken at the Love Work sign, which is normally right here, right opposite the Sweet Rose Bakery. I really hope that it's uh, just temporarily displaced and they're going to be bringing it back soon because we didn't get our photo taken in front of this Love Works. But maybe by the time you see this video, it'll be back. In the meantime, you can sit on this really cute bike seat and get a photo here. With over 40 wineries on the DC wine trail, which one to choose? We opted for Decaney Winery for its beautiful grounds and because it's been voted the number one winery in Northern Virginia. They're beautiful grounds and you can take a picnic or buy some of their snacks and take it down and relax with a bottle of wine while watching the ducks, the fish and the turtles.
We've been doing this RV road trip hub and spoke style, leaving the RV at a campground while doing our exploring in the Jeep. So we relocated to Shenandoah River State Park, a great location for exploring parts of the Shenandoah Valley and Northern Central Virginia, as well as some cute historic towns, famous attractions, and one of the best drives in the country. And of course, many more love works. This is a beautiful state park. The RV sites are really spacious. If you don't have an RV, you could stay in a tent, a lodge, a yurt, or a cabin. There are plenty of outdoor activities and beautiful scenic lookouts. That is the Shenandoah River. There's kayakers down there. And tubers. Next, we headed out for a big day exploring in the Jeep, driving some of the most scenic back roads of Virginia as we visited small historic towns like Sperryville, Culpeper and Warrington. All as we continued our search for more love works. This trailer became a love-inspired art project at Hearthstone School. You'll find it just before the little town of Sperryville. Many of the small towns we visited mostly cater to tourists, so often only open on weekends, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So just keep that in mind if you're planning a weekday visit. Being here on a weekday, nope, not open, but otherwise they moved in over here, we're open. Today, nope. This cute little town of Sperryville is only about a block long along the main street and is just adorable. For us, one of the best parts of any road trip like this is the chance to get out and explore some of these beautiful back country roads. This is also why we choose to leave our RV at a campground and do our exploring in our tow vehicle. take a full size RV, but if you've got a class B or a small one, you'll probably be fine. It was a beautiful drive to the vibrant and lovely little town of Culpeper, which has revitalized its historic downtown district, putting it on the map as a popular destination town. We started at the Culpeper Depot Visitor Center to get some tips from a local expert and take photos at the Culpeper Depot Love Work. West Davis Street is perfect for browsing specialty stores, antique and art galleries, boutiques, and to grab a bite to eat, whether you're looking for something casual or a fine dining experience. There's plenty for history and outdoor lovers too. It may be small, but Culpeper also has a bit of a reputation as a foodie town with great restaurants, cafes, a brewery and wine tasting. Culpeper has so much to offer. Next time we'll plan on spending a night or two at an inn or a B&B. Next we headed for Warrington and stopped along the way at a vineyards that has a love works. Warrington is another lovely little historic town and this would be an easy drive whether you're staying at Lake Fairfax in Reston or at the Shenandoah River State Park over near Front Royal. We spent most of our time exploring the peaceful, relaxing grounds of Airlie, a 300-acre event centre. The love work at Airlie is found up on a grassy hill 
overlooking the pond and water fountain and is made of recycled farm materials. Pro photo tip, you'll get optimal lighting in the morning. You could spend the whole day at Airlie, walking the nature trails, visiting the farm, taking a bike ride, trying archery, playing tennis, or just sitting by the lake with a picnic and watching the ducks and geese. You can even stay overnight in one of their guest rooms. It was time for us to head back to our RV, but we stopped for dinner at Claire's at the Depot in Warrington for a fantastic meal. Cheers. A short drive from our campground was Luray Caverns, the largest and most popular cavern in Eastern America. But first, a stop at their Logs of Love, Love Work. We found love at Luray Caverns. We're about to head in and explore the cavern. We've toured many caverns in our travels and Luray had some unique and impressive features, including the impossibly still a magnificent Dream Lake and the world's only stalactite organ, which plays a tune using the cave's formations. What was your favorite part of the caverns? Definitely Dream Lake. Dream Lake was awesome and I also like the wishy will at the end. You can throw in coins and they donate it all to charity. So far I've donated over $1 million, so bring your coins along and make a wish. Your Luray Cabins tour tickets include access to the car and carriage caravan and the Luray Valley Museum. Is there anything you'd like to trade the Jeep in on? Um, this is actually really cool. Our last day of our Virginia road trip was a big one. We took a drive through Shenandoah National Park and drove the famous Skyline Drive from beginning to end. And finished up with a visit to Greensboro and Stanton, Virginia before heading back to our RV. And our final mission to find another Loveworks. So we just did a quick stop in at the Dickey Ridge Visitor Centre on the north side of the park and got some great tips, uh, including that it's 105 miles long, the drive. Yep, and about 75 pullouts, that, so there's plenty of places to pull out if you have your RV with you. And you can drive through Mary's Rock Tunnel because even tour buses go through that and they're bigger than any RVs. Because the shape of the tunnel is curved on the sides, it's 12 foot 8 minimum clearance. But down the center, it's almost 17 feet tall, and the tunnel's only maybe 500 feet long, and so 
you would just need to be able to make sure there's no coming traffic and you could go straight down the center of that tunnel right. and you could get through with your army. And there are a couple of campgrounds on the way and that's Matthew's Arm and Big Meadows to name a couple of them. Uh, we're not staying there at the moment but uh, if you can get in, that's a nice convenient place to be able to explore the park. So with that said, let's keep driving yep. and capture some of this awesome footage and head on down to Waynesboro and visit Stanton while we're there. Keep an eye for wildlife, we spotted a deer and saw a bear sign, but not a bear. <laughs> Our final leg of our drive was Waynesboro, followed by Stanton. We found love in Waynesboro, Virginia. Down by the river. No RVs down here by the river, just us <laughs> with a love sign. <laughs> Max, are you in there? <sighs> Last stop on our itinerary is Stanton. We're going to get there, I think, just in time to explore the town a bit and then have some dinner. Sounds like a great plan. And then back to the campsite. So, big day of driving today. Or if you're an RVer and you're coming through, this might just be a stop as you continue down south. I'm getting hungry. Let's go. The charming historic town of Stanton was voted one of the best small towns in America, and now we know why. This is so cute. This is downtown Stanton. What a lovely little town. Steeped in culture, history and natural beauty, Stanton is conveniently located between Shenandoah National Park and the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's an attractive, walkable town and perfect for exploring by foot. It's also known as a foodie town with plenty of options for a bite to eat, a beer or a wine tasting. Stroll down to the old train depot and take the steps above the rail station for an overlooked view of the town and its architecture. You can really see and feel the pride Stanton takes in preserving its history and natural beauty. Stop into the Black Swan Books and Music Store in East Beverly in a beautiful corner historic building. And when you get to Stanton, you can grab a signed copy of our book. We're right here at the Black Swan Books and Music in downtown Stanton. After breakfast, we packed up the RV and headed for an overnight stay at a winery in Delaplane. As Harvest Host members, we can stay at unique locations like wineries, farms, and even golf courses as part of our membership. We got our RV settled in at Barrel Oak Winery, affectionately known as Bow. This place is huge and very popular with locals and tourists alike. We are here at 
at the Barrel Oak Winery in Delaplaine, Virginia, Northern Virginia. Look at how gorgeous this place is. It's just amazing. And this big grass lot is going to be filled tomorrow because apparently they get close to a thousand people here on weekends on the Saturday for live music, wine tasting, beer tasting and the gift store and just all food, food trucks they have as well. Bow is not only dog friendly, it's dog focused. In fact, there's a sign at the entrance that says dogs welcome, people tolerated. So yes, you can bring your fur babies inside and out. Bow is super pet and family friendly. Our stay at Bow was the ideal way to wrap up a fantastic Virginia love road trip. That looks really good. Oh, it does. Let's eat. We found so much to love in Virginia and if you want more detail with a link to our itinerary and a map to all of the love works around the state where we stayed, drove, visited, ate and drank, jump over to the blog at rvlove.com where you'll get all of the detail. Thanks so much for joining us on this road trip. We hope you loved it as much as we did. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.